campaign's control. The January 6th committee is scheduling more hearings, likely in September. Have you been asked to testify? Would you testify? No, I, I had nothing to do with January 6th. If they asked you to testify, though, would you? What would they ask me to testify about? The Republican electors and the slave. I, I, again, that, that, again, if, if another grotesque distortion. I had nothing to do with the ultimate slate. I had no idea that anybody was going to ask me to deliver those. My involvement in that, that attempt to deliver spanned the course of a couple seconds. I got, a, I think I fielded three texts and sent two and talked to my chief of staff that somebody wants you to deliver something. Yeah. yeah I, I knew nothing about it. And in the end, those electors were not delivered because we found out from vice president staff they didn't want them delivered. End of story. They're, they're, again, I know that's been blown out of proportion. You think so? The, the January 6th committee didn't do their due diligence and they blew us into like some, you know, massive conspiracy. Again, I, I had like virtually no involvement. Literally, my involvement lasted seconds okay if the vice president's chief of staff wouldn't have said don't deliver these would you have brought that document to the vice president in what way could have i again you know we, we did our due diligence so we, if somebody handed us something we're supposed to deliver to the vice president does he want it nope okay end of story that was it the courts here the the decision on gay marriage will never be overturned it's completely different than roe v wade and the dobbs decision now that this is where star starry decisis would be uh, decisive. I, I do not see the Supreme Court turning that, overturning that, because that would impact you know, millions of people that have been you know, acted on that. Roe v. Wade and the Dow decision was proactive, it was protecting life in the future. So again, th this is just Democrats you know, opening up a wound that had really healed. You know, I've always, always been supportive of civil unions, but the Supreme Court you know, ruled on gay marriage, and it's okay, that's, that's the decision, let's move on.